Are you painting it purple? No, it's not paint. This is lacquer. But the finish. It looks like sparkly purple. Yep. Well, wait a second. See through. Wait a second. Let me see the can. See? <gasps> oh, look at that. That's sparkly purple. It's actually clear. Is what That's it is. not clear. It is clear. It's just painted on black. I could paint this on white and it would still come out the same way. Well, let me see the can. Let me, let me, let me, yeah. let me see the can. Don't you spray me. Shifts color at different Apply angles. over black base coat. But why does it look purple? Because it has purple metal flake in it. That's why. And you're saying, what are you doing to that truck? Well, somebody, if you look up there, did a really crafty job of putting the finish on and it's peeling off. So what difference does it make? If I want to make it purple spotty, <laughs> I can. Yeah, it's your truck. See this here spot right here? I'm going to do another one right here. Clear, see. No, I don't see it. Why, how? It's clear. It's purple. It's clear. Look. <laughs> it's purple. It's clear with purple in it. See, I just sprayed that. See? It's clear. Ooh. It's per. It's clear. It's all, well, all it is. See, it's, you spray it on a color, and then this clear will show whatever is in the metal plate. Oh, oh, okay. That's kind of complicated. No, it ain't. That's how you get metal flake on your paint, unless you put it in your paint. So, now, to kind of blend these together, I'm going to put a stripe right there. You don't think that that'll make it look like, stand out like an eyesore? Who cares? It stands out like an eyesore anyway. <laughs> Every time I look at the truck, I see that crappy side of the truck. So now, now, I'll look at it and go on. Look at those purple, crappy sparkles. Purple, crappy sparkles. Well, almost made it run right there. It got a little heavy. See, this right here will force me to fix it. It has forced me to sand this all down and paint it and make it look like the front. See, this has all been freshly painted. You see how much difference it looks from the rest of the truck. Oh, it, well, yeah. And look at the purple metal flake in there. See in there? Oh, I do see the flakies. Yeah, and then look up there, you can see it even better. I do see the sparkles. But this is fresh paint. This hood's brand new. The rest of the truck is old. So I can paint it a section at a time. This right here, by doing this, will force me to paint that. Oh, here, since it's right in front of us, let's talk about this. Talk about that. Well, Ida, they're about the only ones uh, owner operators have to work for us. And they're having a hard time with it. Well, maybe somebody doesn't know what Oida is. Owner Operators, Independent Drivers Association. And if you're with them for more than 10 years, you become a senior member. They fight, they fight for us. That's what they do. You mean they go to Congress? So what are the issues these days that they're fighting for? Uh, they're trying to put speed limiters on us. They want all trucks in America to go 55 miles an hour, which they already done that back in the 70s. 
and uh, it created it, it uh, you know that when you have cars going 70 75 and 80 and you got trucks going 55 that can't pass one another nobody else is gonna get to go either because there'll be a truck in the fast lane and slow lane and you'll have everybody flipping out it's gonna ruin everything so that just goes to show you how retarded politicians are they want to make laws and the reason why they do it is that you have these big companies wanting to hurt the small guy so that they can get richer that's it's all about money that's all it is it's just about money let's put the small guy out of business <coughs> they that's the reason why they had log books those uh, electronic logs put on us that's the reason why they have logs because they don't want owner operators to be able to be competition it's all about squashing the little guy squash the competition and the big people with a lot of money like swift and <coughs> those people that are big enough to have their own insurance companies because you have to have a million dollars free that you don't even touch put it in a bank and uh you can have your own insurance and so i'm sure they gotta have a lot more than that though as many wrecks as they have but so uh yeah, that's some big companies trying to put the little guy out of business, and they're doing a pretty darn good job of it. That's uh, getting harder and harder. Uh, you know, it really is. <coughs> it's a good thing I'm getting close to retirement. <clears throat> yeah. Today is your brother's, uh, your brother is 62 years old today, and you're going to follow suit. You're going to be 61. You can't even tell. Well, you can see a little purple sparkles. Well, I'm sure you can see little purple spots, but at least you can't see all the paint peeling off it. Right. Not as bad, anyway. Right. You can still see it right here. You know why? Because that was lighter color like this. See that? What I should have did is sand it down. But, like, I ain't, I'm not going to get into that. I'm fixing the lead. I just did this. It'll force me to fix it someday. Someday. Yeah, what do you think about your brother's birthday today? Your brother's 62, and in, in July, you'll be 61. Who would have thought? You want to tell Jimmy, although he'll never see this video, you want to tell him happy birthday? Happy, happy birthday, brother. Yeah. He was born in 61, and you were born in 62. Yeah, uh, in fact, this thing, whoever painted it last, they, they didn't even take the muffers off. And if you look back there... You see how gray and ugly looking that is? That's like sandpaper. You know what that is? It's overspray. I mean, the dorks that painted this truck root it. Reach back there and fill it. Oh, that is really rough. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. Well, what it was is they didn't take the muffler off and that overspray went back there. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, that's retarded. Hey, the sparkles match my purple shirt and my purple clothes. I'm wearing purple today, and the sparkles match my purple. Well, that's all messing up I'm going to do. All right, wave it, everybody. See, I can put it on this gray. What now? Oh, you're going to do that? I'm telling you, I can put the purple on the gray, and it'd still be, it'd be gray with metal plate. Because it's clear, see? It's not black. It's clear. Oh. See that? Oh, yeah. I guess I kind of do see that. I'd put it on yellow. It ain't going to change the yellow. It just puts metal flake on it. Oh. See? What? Well, I'm sure you wouldn't do it to that I'm vehicle. Not that. <laughs> what? You're not gonna put it on that one? No. <laughs> Why would I destroy something that's fine? See, you can see the metal flake in there. Yeah. That's what this is. It's clear with metal flake in it. So. All right. Well, now I kind of. Now you can kind of see that a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. You could see that paint peeled off there too. Okay. So it's a, uh, what would you rather have, purpley sparkles or <laughs> ugly gray peeled paint? Right, right, right. Doesn't matter. Are you spraying yourself? No. I, anytime you're done using a paint, 
can, you flip it upside down and you clear the nozzle by flipping it upside down. See, it's got a little straw inside of it. Right. And when you flip it upside down, it clears the straw. That way it doesn't get plugged up. Oh, I thought you were spraying yourself. No, I'm just spraying backwards. All right. All right, Stephen, wave at me. I got a sparkly car in here too, and it's got all these same colors in it. They call that uh, Thunder Gray with a little pizzazz. And uh, when it's in the sunlight, it changes like a rainbow. It kind of does, doesn't it? Yep. Kind of does. Basically, it's the same thing. When they got through painting it, they put uh, what they call pearl. Pearl. Uh, in the lacquer. The finish. Okay, Richard Rollins. Everybody thinks you look like Richard Rollins. Yeah, well, I don't think I look like Richard Rollins. I'm older than him, so he looks like me. Oh, how old is Richard Rollins? He's got four years younger than I am. We actually had somebody who, and I don't know if they were serious or if they were just teasing. There's but a few people that said that, but you look for your wildin'. <coughs> He's about six one, from what I know of him, and I'm five eight. So, but I'm older, so he looks like me. I don't look like him. Oh, okay. Is that how it works? That's right. If I was younger, then I would look like him. Okay, Richard. So, this right here was a big gouge. And I put some liquid rubber in How there. How'd that happen? This thing is a 1996, and it worked a really long life before it ever ended up here. It had many, many people driving it before I ever seen it. So, how that happened, your guess will be better than mine. Because I'm not going to even try. All right, well, as long as you don't blame it on me. Blame it on Richard. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it for now. Have fun. <laughs>